제 141회 약속한 대로 소개팅 시켜줄게요. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and let me introduce my good friend, Steve. Thank you, Lisa. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you all for being with us once again. We're going to talk about today. In today's lesson, Lisa is going to introduce me to her friend. And in Korea, that's very common. There's a lot of blind dates, a lot of arranged dates in Korea. It's very popular. And we're going to talk about that with... 안녕하세요. 네오미입니다. Hello, everyone. I'll introduce you my new partner, Kambir. Yeah. 안녕하세요. Hello, everybody, too. And I'm coming from Nepal and Hanguk University. A student also. I want to hello everybody, Nepalese people, and Good. namaste. Yeah. Nah. Wait, one more time? Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Well, that's hello. So, yeah. oh. so let's get started. Here is our situation for today. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. Steven, 전에 약속한 대로 소개팅 시켜줄게요. 정말이에요? 어떤 사람인데요? 나처럼 뛰어난 능력에다가 외모도 훌륭해요. 고마워요. 잘 되면 한턱 낼게요. 오늘 점심은 스티븐이 사세요. And I do keep waiting for this introduction that you keep telling me about here. When are you going to introduce me to this pretty young lady who's so talented as well? Well, huh? not that you need any help. You know, Stephen is a very good-looking guy. Lots of girls like him. Okay, yeah. tell us what today's okay. situation is all about. Okay, in today's situation, the first line that we have there, 전에 약속 한대로. This is very important. This is today's main expression, right? You're talking about something you did before. Just like I said before, 약속 한 대로, or like I said before, 말한 대로. You can also uh -huh. use that expression. You can also say, like I taught you before. Remember, 여러분들이 가르, 배운 대로, what, like you learned before. Just like that expression that I taught you before, I could also say, I taught you, 어, 여러분들한테 가르친 대로. Remember, this is just like I taught you before, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can use all these different expressions, so let's practice one of those. In the dialogue, we heard, 전에 약속한 대로 소개팅 시켜줄게요. Yep. Like I promised before, I'll introduce you to a girl. 전에 약속한 대로 소개팅 시켜줄게요. Very good. 전에 약속한 대로 소개팅 시켜 Okay. <laughs> Not 약속했는 대로, but 약속한 대로. 한 대로. Okay. Very good. 약속한 대로 지켜줄게요. 소개팅 시켜줄게요. Okay. Let's go on to the next line. Stephen responds by saying, 정말이에요? 어떤 사람인데요? Okay, 정말이에요? Really? What kind of person is it? 어떤 사람이에요? What kind? Okay, and Lisa responds by saying, <laughs> I really mean this too. Okay. Natural. The on and Nunyog Daga uh Wemo do Hulyang Heo. Okay. Nunyog means I've got lots of uh things to offer, okay. Um I'm very smart and this and that and that. Let, don't, is let talented, right? let, Talent. don't let me count off, okay, the uh, <laughs> all right. And then Wemo means your appearance. Let's start from the ending here. Wemo do Hulyong Hulyung Heo means Good, the person is good looking as well, right? Do is two. Waymo is like she, she just said appearance, right? Way means outside. Mo is appearance there. And huyungeo is wonderful. Something is great, stupendous. It is huyungeo, okay? Homo do huyungeo. Waymo do huyungeo. It's a good sentence. Waymo do huyungeo. Waymo do huyungeo. So what's going on here? Nungyong edaga, right? This means above and beyond the ability, yep. there's also, she's also beautiful, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. So anyway, <laughs> we're, we're talking about, let me give you another way you can use this expression. Kopi edaga soltang tayo. Okay, you can put sugar into your coffee. So what do you got? You take this one thing and then you add something even more to mm. it, right? That's how you use edaga. I've had even a really good example. The, above and beyond. Like when we look at someone like Steven or even uh, Naomi or Gandhi, we can say, 영어 에다가 한국말까지 잘해요. Naomi, how many languages do you speak? Italian. Well, Italian 에다가 한국어 잘하고요. 에다가, 에다가, 에다가. Edaga. Edaga. She's got like all these languages. Uh, I can speak Nepali. Uh, Nepali 에다가. Hindi. Hindi 에다가. 
Let me English. 영어에다가 아, 네, 한국말도, 한국말도 잘해요. 네. Let's look at the next sentence, okay? Uh, 고마워요. 잘 되면 한턱 낼게요. 고마워, of course. Thank you. 잘, 잘 되면, if everything goes well, 잘, well, uh, 한턱 낼게요. We studied 한턱 낼게요 before. Uh, we also learned 쏠게요 before. I'm going to pay for everything. I'm going to treat, right? Mm -hmm. More often you just hear... Uh, solkeo. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, you know, nowadays, it, that solkeo. seems to be the more common expression, but yeah. the regular, traditional, normal Korean expression is hantok neikeo. Hantok is to treat. I also to like pay. to shorten that. I usually say dega neikeo. Okay, mm -hmm. I will just pay. pay Instead of saying hantok, mm -hmm. you know, it's just shortened by saying dega neikeo. Mm -hmm. All right. And the last sentence, Lisa says, 오늘 점심은 스티븐 씨가 사세요. Why don't you just do that today too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll leave that up to the producer. I think they might help us out. Okay. Why don't we say? Why don't you buy dinner today? 오늘 저녁은 스티븐 씨가 사세요. Okay. Uh, Very good. 오늘 저녁에 오늘 저녁 은은 스티븐 씨가 사세요. 사 사세요. 사세요. 알았어요. 알았어요. He said 알았어요. Okay. We'll keep you to your word. All right. Let's go on to Korean Insight. Korean Insight. All right. Here we're going to Korean Insight. And I just gotta say, we really gotta hurry up because I gotta go and get some AS for my cell phone. So let's just hurry up. Your cell phone. Yeah. AS. Really? Oh, Lisa, I think you've been in Korea too long because you don't get AS in English. You know that. Oh, yeah, she does know that, actually. Hey, I got really good acting skills now. Yes, yeah, you did. You did. I, I, okay. Anyway, what we're talking about here is getting after service. A-S, right. Oh, and yeah. we, we, we call it A slash S here in Korea. When you want to get something fixed in Korea, you say, I'm going to go get after service. Oh, mostly this is only for electronic stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we might say we supply after service for a car or something in other countries as well. But really, I only picture this being, am I correct? Yes. Only pretty much used for electronic stuff. Right. Huh? Any sort of servicing, but it's not just fixing, but any sort of like, um, mm. any, not just fixing, mm. but also if you want to add some sort of option to your, like, for example, cell phone or your car, or you want to get something changed, that's also considered after service here in Korea, but most of it's always free, and it's a really good service here in Korea, and uh, mostly for any sort of electrical device that you have here in Korea. Mm. And now that we've given you guys your Konglish expression for today, our Korean insight, we're going to do a little review, okay? Uh, we had yaksok handero. You can hear that right in the beginning. Lisa promised to do something and she's following through, right? The next expression is nungyeok edaga wemodo hunyungyeo, right? She's not only talented, but also very beautiful, right? Here we go. Let's go and summarize and uh, review over what we studied today. Steven, 전에 약속한 대로 소개팅 시켜줄게요. 정말이에요? 어떤 사람인데요? 나처럼 뛰어난 능력에다가 외모도 훌륭해요. 고마워요. 잘 되면 한턱 낼게요. 오늘 점심은 스티븐이 사세요. Okay, I hope you had a great lesson. I just wanted to say we were talking about uh, Stephen, what he was saying in the dressing room earlier. <laughs> 말한 그대로 얘기할게요. I'll say exactly what he said. 그대로. 말한 대로. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, he was saying how he looked like Mel Gibson. That is not what I said. That is not what I said at all. 말한 그대로. I said I heard that. Yeah, Some, somebody yeah. told me that I look like Mel Gibson, and they only started saying it recently, and I think it's because of all these lines in my forehead, right? <laughs> See those lines right there? Mel Gibson has deep lines in his forehead, and those just started appearing in the last few mm -hmm. years, so that's why I hear it, I say. Okay. okay. Anyways, thank you for joining us once again, and we'll see you here next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.